Hey everybody, wanted to make a quick video about the step function. So uh, most of you are probably familiar with it. Uh, here we've got a distance field uh, for a circle. And if I just go ahead and step through that function, we get, um, sure enough, a circle, All right? So the step function takes an input gradient and a threshold and outputs a one or a zero, depending on if the value of that gradient is above or below the chosen threshold, pretty straightforward. But the issue you might have with it is that uh, it's, it's extremely sharp, right? You're getting a one or a zero. And as a result of that, you get really bad aliasing artifacts on the edge of the shape. And this can be really bad at distances. Um, and Overall, it looks okay, but not great. One way that a lot of people might deal with this is to use the smooth step function, which allows you to soften up the shape. And as a result, uh, you don't get really any aliasing, at least when you're up close. But if you get too close, the shape looks blurry. And if you get far enough away, you'll actually still get aliasing because the gradient will get so small in screen space that it effectively doesn't exist anymore and you'll still have that aliasing. So how can we fix these problems? Well, the answer is to apply the step in screen space instead of in texture space. So here I've got a material function that I've built that does exactly that. So just pay attention to the, um, it's probably especially like the top of this cube here, the top circle and I'll hook this up and oops, let's um, have the same gradient. So let's try that again. Um, so pay attention to the top of the circle and boom. So you can see now we have a pin sharp step, but we don't have any aliasing, even if we get out to a distance. And just like the smooth step function, I can still add a um, softness to it if I want, but unlike the smooth step function, same thing. If I get far enough away, there is no longer aliasing that we would have had if we were to look at the smooth step function. So um, this is really great if you're trying to draw any kind of shape, really. Um, and that includes text, which is what this was before, right? So if I go to um, any sort of text. So this is a 256 by 256 texture, but I can zoom in on it infinitely and get pin sharp edges. Um, and if we compare that to an image texture of the same size, you can see the advantage here, right? So, and if I take this, and go back to this, we can see how much more aliasing there is. And maybe let's take this and this and compare them. You can see it preserving the detail better on the letters and removing the aliasing. So inside the function itself, uh, it's really straightforward. We have our input gradient or a distance field, a threshold, and um, I've also added a width function here. Um, this is the screen space calculations and that outputs your step. Basically, I'll include a link in the description with a, a paste bin for this material. And I will um, let's see here. I will um, also include a link to the blog post that inspired me to make this material function. And um, it also goes into a little more detail as to how and why this works the way it works. So check that out too. Thanks for watching.